Hello everyone, Nubkex here. Welcome to the Heroes of the Storm PTR. We're going to be playing some Nova and checking out the Nova rework, which is uh, available for testing now. Uh, once again, apologies for the whole uh, 720p thing and hello with the webcam. Using my streaming software because my regular recording software was not interacting well with the PTR. I'm not sure what's up with that. Anyway, new PC should be here for next week in hand. Uh, Nova, <clears throat> as you can already see, Extra stuff going on. We got some pretty big changes. I'll cover the talent build in a second. Um, your trait, stealth, radically different now. You can see this effect around the edge of the screen, uh, like up here. Watch when I move, disappears, okay? When we stand still in stealth for one and a half seconds, we become invisible. Which means no shimmer, nothing we are, like literally invisible for all intents and purposes. Oops, just missed that. A little bit laggy here at the start, but that's okay. Also, the new minimap looks very nice, I think. Uh, I'm going to come up and soak up here. <clears throat> um, yeah, when we are stealthed as well as Nova, we gain 15% uh, movement speed, which is cool. We can also activate stealth and become unrevealable for the first half a second, so we're totally invisible. There, look, she's going to disappear now, so she's totally invisible. I mean, she's standing still, so we can just shoot her um, with snipe, but yeah. That's exactly, that's what the stealth thing looks like from the other side, right? That's what it looks like from the other side. Um, the hero standing still, and then they're completely gone. So she's right there. Uh, she can teleport because she's Valera, so you need to watch out for that. Uh, here she comes. There we go, that's what she can do. It's a real pain in the butt. Valera is quite strong now, to say the least. Oh, I sniped the wrong thing. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> Let's get this regen globe. Nice bit of health. Lovely, lovely. I think I'll actually tap a well for some mana. You'll also notice that Snipe Master is now baseline, so the base damage of Snipe has been nerfed. However, we now have five stacking of Snipe Master, so hitting five heroes will stack it up, where as you hit heroes, it will stack this quest up. You can see there we got a stack. Lovely. Let's get the regen globe. They're neutral. We got them. Cool. You now have three stacks of this. Each stack gives you 5% more damage on your Snipes. Uh, once you've stacked up to 5, you get an additional 25%, so you're stacking up this quest for a maximum of 50% bonus damage on Snipe, which is obviously very, very important. Uh, pinning shots not changed, maybe some mana cost, minor changes at best. Uh, Hollow Decoy now does 10% of your damage by default, so a bit of extra damage there. I'm gonna reduce the cooldown of mana cost of that, actually. There might be a Valera here? Yeah, there she is. I'm gonna slow her down. Should hit her with this snipe. I did. Good. Oh, nice throw. She's in stealth, though. But there you go. You can see again. We can see her while she's in stealth. Pretty me pretty mega change. Pretty massive change. Make sure we get this globe. What's this Valera doing? She's very brave. We're not actually in custom games. I thought we were, but of course I'm not. Oh, watch out for Valera. She can engage hard on us. I'll just snipe that. So we need to hit one more hero to trigger our major snipe thing. So she's coming for me. Being a real jerk about it. There we go. We've stacked our snipe master. Our snipe now does 50% bonus damage. Until we miss a hero, of course. Once we miss or miss a target, if we do a snipe and it hits nothing, uh, we lose the bonus. Which would suck. But as you can see, it's pretty decent damage. Just gonna basic attack away here. Do what we can. Do we have a flip? We do not have a flip, unfortunately. Like this Regar. Okay, cool. But yeah, I think it's really nice to have your uh, your uh, Snipe Master kind of built-in default. Oh, I missed the Snipe, and that's our progress reset, which is very bad. Obviously. Obviously very bad. But yeah, I felt like Nova felt like very much a non-hero until you had level... Uh, until you had level 7 before. Rip. So this is a nice change that you get it a bit sooner. And we keep hitting minions instead of the heroes, which is not what I wanted. They got the regen globe. Arseholes. Arseholes. Okay. Uh, so we're losing a little bit, but we'll come back into it. Level 4, uh, these are the talents. I don't think there's major changes. Level 1, you advanced cloaking's been changed. When you're stealthed for 2 seconds, you get 5% bonus movement speed. And you regenerate 2 mana per second. So it's basically been nerfed because they've built in some of the stuff. That was in it, uh, it built it into the baseline. Let's get one in the chamber here, because it's good. Okay, we got a kill, that's cool. Okay, so one in the chamber, this is when we use a basic ability. Our next basic attack does 70% more damage. Just like that. 
So we got a nice little bit of burst against this Ragar. It's not a ton because we haven't stacked up our thing yet. Wow, he's really brave. He does not care. Look at it. Slain. I don't know, I guess he just... What? <laughs> he's like, you do not have Snipe Master stacked. I fear you not. Can we see this on the scoreboard? Okay, you can see her progress on the scoreboard. That's kind of cool. So you know exactly where the Nova stands. But yeah, so this is a lot of damage, obviously, in our basic attacks. The new Snipe Taunt on this tier is called Perfect Shot, which has been moved from somewhere else. I think that was 13. Yes, level 13, pretty sure. So what this does now is uh, it reduces the cooldown of Snipe by 2 seconds, so from 6 to 4 second cooldown when you hit a hero with Snipe. So not bad. I think one in the chamber will add more damage though overall, pretty sure. So down our snipe thing. Again, each when we cast our E, it does give us Oh, it didn't quite hit him, unfortunately. I was hoping to. I wanna finish my snipe master. There we go. That's it done. I'm taking a lot of hits here. He's probably not a happy, uh not a happy happy hacker. Are you a very sad hacker? We're gonna grab this regen globe. Thank you. Ah, they were doing a merc camp. That would explain some of it. It feels like that's a grey main esque splash behind the heroes when you shoot them with this skin, but it of course doesn't do anything. Uh, we got precision strike for some global pressure. Might be nice. This is spell armor, which is bad news for me. So obviously I do mostly spell damage as Nova. I mean our basic attacks are pretty good, but. Definitely a concern. It's this thing that's doing it, so we should try kill this as best we can. And not be pulled by the hacker again. Having mana issues. They're in some trouble now. We've got them. Got them at an impasse, perhaps. Hmm. Okay, we got this. Put my clone there. We got this. <clears throat> We're definitely struggling against these Vikings. I need to be free of this lane and get ganking, get roaming. They've got global with. They got basically triple one, basically triple global. It's pretty nasty actually. This Agara be nice to kill. Lyra being rude though. How dare she? Thank you for the heal. Like this. We need to get in there before he bribes it away. No, I don't really want to stay for more of this. I want to prioritize getting some kills. This Ragar is super aggro. Run out of mana, unfortunately. Let's go back to stealth. This guy is just like... It's like, I'm going to shoot these things. I care about nothing else. He's a madman. Okay. He's going to heal up. Beautiful. He's dead. He got very tunnel vision greed there. Hmm. Alrighty. Um, this is really going to come online once we get double uh, tap, we'll give two charges of pinning shot, which will give us double procs of one in the chamber, and then the big deal will be level 16 when we get crippling shot, so we lower hero's armor. This is going to give us massive burst damage. But yeah, one of the things that I have to say that I really like about this uh, new Nova is that you've got the gameplay of Snipe Master built in, and then you can also get the gameplay of one in the chamber. I like these gameplay altering things that are fun. I think this one certainly counts as fun. Just gonna pressure him over the wall. Do we get. Yes, we got Zagara. Beautiful. Taunted her down as well. That's a nice kill. That's what we want. Looks like there was a Valera nearby. Hmm. Okay, pinning shot is gonna be nice. Very nice, actually. We definitely want to keep this push going. I'm not sure what this guy's doing. It's Valera. It's being a jerk. Save me, team, please. Stealth. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Valera is really strong, in case you didn't know. 
She's super strong. Oh god. He's probably dead. Yeah. Rip. Uh, Valera is a massive pain in the ass. They, they need to nerf, and they probably will nerf Valera. She currently has a almost three second silence on her Garrot, which is, well, it's overpowered, basically. Oh, those giants do a lot of damage. The Valera, sh uh, what's his face? Should kill that guy, surely? Yeah, there we go. Good. Good. So many siege giants. They got the thing. Alright. Man, this is unfortunate. This is the sort of game where you wouldn't pick Nova. It's like, we need Wave Clear and Hard Engage. I've got neither of those things, really. Uh, we could get Explosive Round at 16, but I think it's kind of too late in the game to be super worthwhile. Down the heal, get healed. Lovely, lovely. Work this Dragonite down. We can see there's a Dahaka inside. Now, the problem is that they're split-pushing all the other lanes. That's the real danger here, of course. Not sure where that Valyra went. There she went. Okay, let's go back into stealth. I think she's long gone. They got the fort up top, but us winning that fight gets us some XP, which is nice. That will help us get back into this. Alright, I'm actually going to Hearthstone for mana now. Uh, we do burn through our mana pretty quickly with this build. It's definitely without having that level 1 mana talent, you do burn through it. But I think the Pinning Shop build is just where it's at now, uh, unless they change it. It's one thing I feel with the Nova rework. I, I love the baseline changes. I like the stealth change for her, getting movement speed and stealth, having stealth on demand. Uh, having Snipe Master baseline, I think that's really fun in terms of gameplay. But the one concern is that you are quite talent bound. Why is my clone not? You're supposed to do damage, clone. You're supposed to shoot them. I'm also slightly concerned about being ganked by Valyria right here, which would be bad news. My clone does not. It looks like it's a bug. I just knocked him away, that's not ideal. Did I miss my snipe? I, I should have popped speed. Okay, good kill, good kill. Oh no, wait, no, that wasn't a good kill, that was him dying to mercs. <laughs> Rip! We're pushing up top here as well, okay. Uh, crippling thingy is gonna really help here, so we're gonna grab that. And uh, let's see if we can maybe get a gank off. We've equal talent tiers. Things are activating. We're pushed in everywhere and Junkrat's dead. It's not looking too good for us, team. Unless we find someone way out of position. That will do. And this guy's way out of position. Let's get the Zagara. Zagara's the one to get if we can find her. There's actually a giant team fight happening. Rip. Oh, he's going to do some damage to me. Well, it's decent damage, but it's not enough. Snipe him on the back side of this. Okay, take a kill. Neutral regen globe, getting some regen going. I and mean, they can just simply walk up and take these things, though. Uh, the points. Oh, shit. They also, they're actually taking these on the way. Um, can we fight them? Oh no, I missed my snipe. That's really bad. Now we don't have Snipe Master. We have to build that back up. So I'm actually going to be pretty gimped for the next few seconds. They're continuing to point to push. You are muted, huh? Okay. He must be having lag. I'm going to shamelessly kill him. You can see without Snipe Master, our damage is quite, quite nerfed, unfortunately. There's the Valera. She's in deep. He needs to run away. <laughs> Finish off some basic attacks to save some mana. Uh, we've got a bot. Ah, uh, that definitely doesn't help. We should be able to defend this though. They've got multiple dead heroes, so it should be okay. It's unfortunate, but it should be okay. Uh, really doing as much as we can in this game. Let's see. If we could catch the Zagara out, that would be fantastic. 
Oh yeah, you can see we burn that Dragon Knight down, especially with the vulnerability enabling our teammates' damage as well. And that's actually giving us our Snipe Master stats. Thank you, Dragon Knight. Okay, he ducked that. That's gonna cost him his life, actually. Nice. So he ducked our basic attack, which let us hit the Garrosh combo. Actually, Zagara's so pushing in super hard. We just need to go gank her. Can we catch her out? Maybe. Again, bear in mind she can see me. What a jerk. Killing this guy's not too too important. Alright, I need to go back for some mana. They have level 20, level 18. Good news is that we've stayed alive this long, so I think we've got a good chance to still come back in the game. Um, you know, not a, well, not a great chance. We're definitely losing pretty hard, right? We're losing pretty hard, but we still have a chance to come back. Getting level 20 and then fighting on an even level 20 talent here would be good. I'm not sure if he can't hit those things or if he just can't aim. Oh, he can. He just can't aim. <laughs> Regulus, please. Uh, we need to save Greymane. He's busy clearing stuff. Yep. Regulus, please. Uh, team? Where's everybody? I'm just gonna die, I guess. <laughs> I feel like people are really asleep at the wheel in this particular game. There's, like, stuff happening here and down here and no one's noticed. I don't know. Anyway, alright, this is bad now. <laughs> For those dying, this is bad. Um, we really want to be ganking this Rhaegar as much as possible. I'm pretty sure it's a bot as well. Or else he's just toxic. He's also bloodless. But uh, he's, like, overextending constantly. So that's what we wanted to do. We get a kill on, like, the Rhaegar, one of them. Then we can force fights as with a five-man with a large advantage. And we can get some kills. Uh, that's basically our way back into this. This is not a good fight to take. <clears throat> This is a 5 versus 3 fight. Myself and the Grey Mane are both dead, so uh, they died, basically. Um, okay, uh, the enemy team might still mess up. Again, we're going to have level 20, which is nice. We're going to get Rewind, uh, which will help to for a bit of extra burst damage. Uh, so we might be able to hold out, but it's going to be quite difficult. It's going to be quite difficult. Okay, there's one of them down. That helps a little bit. Actually, this guy's standing in the way of my snipe. I rude that. Okay, they've used jump. Okay, rewind. Okay. Here comes the Rhaegar again. Uh, burst damage is a little bit lower than before. I feel, I don't know. Hard to say. Pick up the regen globe? Never mind. Can throw this guy behind? No, okay. Uh, that's gonna be game over now. Damn. That's a pity. Uh, so I think you got to see some Nova things in this game. I'm out of mana. Arg. No mana. Mana is a problem. Literally, out of mana. Got none of it. Uh, there's no way we can uh, hold this off. There's too much. So, and there's a DK coming as well. We'll just do what damage we can before the end. But there you go. That's a pity. Pity. Um, that was a, a couple of derpy mistakes there for me in that game. Oh, well. Still going to do an insight into the new Nova uh, changes. So, on the whole, I think the new Nova looks uh, really good, actually. I, I like the direction that they're going. Um... You know, uh, having Snipe Master baseline, I think, is a great idea. It adds a lot of interesting and fun gameplay to Nova. Um, my concern is certainly with the talents. I don't feel like the talents... I, I mean, her damage is good, you know? Uh, but I don't feel like the, the talents are necessarily working all that well. Um, my concern is that it feels like the W build is by far the best. You know, you've got the extra range, you get the bonus damage to your basic attacks. And then you've got you know two charges. You've got the vulnerability. That seems so strong. Uh, I'm really not convinced that a Q build is actually good anymore. Because the Q talents are quite underwhelming. So yeah, that's what I'm, my concern here is that it becomes very cookie cutter. I think her base kit is in a great spot. You know, I, I think the new stealth actually works well with Nova because you're ranged, especially. It's not a huge issue for you. The movement speed, while stealth, it is is uh, a good one too. Um, 
and yeah, then Snipe Master baseline is fun. The Hollow Decoy doesn't seem to be working quite right, so I'm a bit concerned about that. But um, yeah, I quite like the rest of this stuff. I like the base stealth change. I like having that activatable ability to put yourself into stealth. The Ghost Protocol, uh, just baseline. That's fantastic. Snipe Master's good. Talents, though. I think they could still use some work, but yeah, anyway. Uh, thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. You can see it's getting darker here as I record. I will see you all next time for more Heroes of the Storm. Bye-bye.